Hello friends, in this video I'd like to solve the following problem from the Romanian District Mathematical Olympiad, 11th grade, 2023, problem number 2, from linear algebra. Let A and B be invertible square matrices with real entries. Suppose that the inverse of A plus B to the power minus 1, inverse of this matrix, is A to the power minus 1 plus B. Prove that the determinant of a times b equals 1. And the second part, does this property hold for 2 by 2 matrices but with complex entries? Uh, so here is my hint for this problem. Hints, rather. First, using the fact that this times this equals the identity matrix, Find a polynomial equation for a times b. And remember one obvious fact that in real numbers, t cubed minus 1 equals 0 has one and only one solution. But in complex numbers, it has two more solutions. And finally, for the second part, which in some ways it's more interesting, consider a and b to be omega times identity matrix, where omega uh, is uh, the primitive root of uh, t is cubed minus 1 equals 0 equation. So omega cubed is 1, but omega is not 1. In complex numbers. Numbers, of course. So give this problem a try, and I will see you in just a minute. Okay, so let's let's get to it. Well, we know that a plus b to the power minus 1 times a to the power minus 1 plus b. These matrices are inverse of each other, so we get identity in the matrix after multiplication. And now let's multiply everything a times a to the power minus 1 plus ab plus b minus 1 a minus 1 plus b minus 1 b equals identity matrix. Now, A times A inverse, it's identity. Here we have AB. Here we have B to the power minus 1, A to the power minus 1. Here we have identity as well, equals identity. And that means that AB plus identity plus B to the power minus 1, A to the power minus 1 equals 0 matrix. I have subtracted i from both sides. And now, what I wish to do, crucially, is to multiply both sides of this equation by ab. And what do we have now? We have ab times ab. It's ab squared. i, identity matrix, times ab. It's ab. And last, ab b minus 1, a minus 1 equals 0. We have ab squared plus ab plus, and now let's take a look, here we have identity, and here we will have identity as well. So now we know that our product ab satisfies this polynomial equation. Remember that we are talking about matrices, not just about numbers. Okay, and now what I wish to do is to multiply is to multiply both sides, but this time by a b minus identity. What do we have now? If I do that, I have Maybe let's multiply on the right hand side. AB squared plus AB plus I. AB minus an identity. Zero matrix times anything, it's still zero matrix. And now, what do we have? We have AB cubed. We have minus AB squared. Then we have plus AB squared. Minus AB plus AB minus i equals 0. Perfect. Now, what do we see? 
this and that is gone, this and that is gone as well. I can put identity matrix on the right hand side and we have AB cubed equals identity matrix. Now let's take determinant on both sides. We have determinant of AB cubed equals determinant of identity matrix. And now one of well-known properties of determinants says that basically I will use the fact that determinant of C to the power of N is determinant of C to the power of N. I, I don't remember the name of this theorem, but it's true. It's a well-known fact about determinants. So now I have determinant of AB cubed equals what is the, ter the, the determinant of identity matrix? It's just one. And now we are dealing with real numbers so far. So A times B this matrix has real entries. Determinant of real, ma real matrix is a real number. And the only real number such that its cube equals one is one itself. So let's maybe write it. So since AB it's a square matrix with real entries, we know that determinant of AB is a real number, so determinant of AB must in fact be equal 1. And that closes uh, the, first prob the first part of our problem. We know that our result is true for square matrices with real entries very important with real entries what about the complex entries well it's probably not true because we have used in a substantial way the fact that this equation has only one solution in real numbers in complex numbers it's not it's no longer the case so we probably guess that it's not true in complex numbers. And to show that, we will consider the following counterexample. Let, let A B, let A and B be in fact equal, and they are omega times identity matrix, two by two. Suffices to consider two by two case. Where well, omega equals, let's write it explicitly, it's e to the power 2 pi i over 3. What do we have now? We have to verify a few things. few things. First of all, we have to verify if the conditions are met and that the determinant is not 1. Maybe let's start with a second. No, let's start with the first part. So we have to verify that both of these matrices are invertible and that this is true, uh, but the determinant should not be equal to 1. So let's take a look. Notice the following, that, uh, I c that notice that omega cubed is 1, so a inverse and B inverse, in fact, they exist and they are equal omega squared times identity matrix. Because if I multiply A times A inverse, I get omega cubed, which is 1, times identity matrix. So we get identity matrix in the end. So they are invertible. Moreover, what is... What is... Uh, a plus B inverse, A plus B inverse times A inverse plus B. What is that product? Let's take a look. We have omega times I plus omega squared times I squared, squared. 
so it's just omega plus omega squared squared times identity matrix and what is that well it's just mm, let's multiply it it's omega squared plus two times omega cubed plus omega to the fourth power times i but now let's notice that omega cubed is one so i can write it as one plus one plus what is omega to the fourth power omega to the fourth power is omega because omega cubed is one so we have one plus omega plus omega squared times i and what is this sum well this sum is pretty easy to verify that it's zero uh, it's a well-known fact that if we add all the all the roots of uh, z to the power of n equals one in complex plane we get always zero always if if you don't believe you can think about it geometrically because we know that the solutions of equation z cubed equals one they form an equilateral triangle centered at zero and we know that so here is one omega omega squared and by adding these numbers and dividing by three we get the centroid of our triangle and we see that the centroid is point zero so it must be zero so in other words in fact these two matrices are inverse of each other and finally what is the determinant of a b well it's determinant of omega squared times i and it's omega squared and clearly omega squared is not equal to one so assumptions are met but the conclusion is not true the in when we are dealing with complex numbers determinant of a b need not be equal one so uh, so let's write it our theorem is no longer is no longer true or two by two matrices with complex coefficients complex entries very nice problem i'd say to be honest the romanian olympiad is full of very interesting problems very unusual for high school high school students but still they are very nice and if you happen to be from romania if you know where where, where can i find the pdf the, the original pdfs with uh, problem statements because i base my solu not solutions i base my knowledge on uh, pdfs uh, english translations and i'm curious if they are exact uh, so if you happen to be from romania if you know where i can find pdfs in romanian language please let me know write a comment or something i will be very very uh, grateful for that that's it so thank you for watching and i will see you next time goodbye